Hi everyone, it's Taylor here from the Protocase team. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a custom circular gauge in Protocase Designer. A circular gauge is a visual representation of a measuring device with a radial axis that sweeps any angle from 0 to 360 degrees. Typically, a pointer such as a needle or a knob indicates values on that scale. In Protocase Designer, you can create a circular gauge according to your specifications. Let me show you how. In 2D Editor, the Face Editor, click on the Cutout Library and Fasteners. Click Place Circular Gauge. Protocase Designer will generate a circular gauge for you to customize. I'll review each way you can customize the circular gauge. First, you can change the thickness of the line by selecting a different value in the drop-down. Below the drop-down menu, you can choose a new thickness for the ticks or notches of the gauge. The higher the value, the thicker the line. You can also change X and Y origin to change where your circular gauge is located. Of course, you can also drag the circular gauge to your desired location by being in move item mode and dragging it where you need it to be. As the name suggests, the rotation field allows you to change the rotation of the circular gauge. Radius refers to the overall radius of your circular gauge. Tick length refers to the overall length of each notch or tick in your gauge. Below that, you can add or remove ticks by changing the overall number of ticks in your gauge. As you can see, Protocase Designer automatically updates the corresponding number labels so it reflects the number of ticks in the gauge. Label gap refers to the distance between the number label of each tick to the starting point of the tick itself. The higher the number, the more space between the number label and the tick. Starting angle is the starting point for the first tick in your circular gauge. Angle, on the other hand, refers to the overall length of your gauge, or the angle of your circle, in other words. Protocase Designer defaults to 180 degrees, but you can change the number to either make it a shorter gauge or a longer gauge. To make a full circle, you can make the angle 360 degrees. Further down, you'll see a button called Edit Labels. Here, you can change the label of each individual tick. Click Edit Label and edit the text box for each tick as required. If you wish to have only ticks and no labels, you can remove the label from each text box. One thing to note, if you edit the labels and then add more ticks afterwards, you'll need to go back and edit labels to make sure the labels are correct according to your requirements. Finally, you can also customize your circular gauges number labels to your desired font, size, and type style. Once you've customized your circular gauge, I recommend saving it in your personal library especially if you'll be using it for other Protocase Designer assemblies. Simply click the Add to Library button and fill in all of the unique properties of your gauge. Then you can access it as a graphic in your personal library. One thing to note, you may want to edit the circular gauge once it's been added to your personal library. To do that, you will need to ungroup it once it's been placed on your Protocase Designer assembly. Once you click Ungroup, all of the circular gauge properties will be displayed and you can make your edits as required. Your new edited circular gauge will not be saved to your personal library unless you save it as a new object altogether for your library using the same steps I've outlined above. This concludes our tutorial on creating circular gauges in Protocase Designer. If you have any questions, please email us at info at protocasedesigner.com or talk to your Protocase account manager. Our wiki and forum are great resources of information as well. Thanks for watching. Happy designing.